Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and if you've ever wondered what it's like being a Pokémon YouTuber on a release day, this 32-ounce iced coffee accurately describes it. Anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the brand new Pokémon Galarian Slowking in Pokémon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra update. Now, evolving your Galarian Slowpoke into a Galarian Slowking is going to be very similar to the way that we evolve Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro. Which, by the way, if you need a video on that, I made one, just check the description. So, you're gonna need a few things. Number one, the Galarian Slowpoke, duh. You can catch those bad boys all over the Isle of Armor. And number two, a brand new item called the Galarka Wreath. This item, when you use it on a Galarian Slowpoke, will basically work the same way as an Evolution Stone and turn your Slowpoke into the Galarian Slowking. So, how do you get the Galarica Wreath? Well, to get the Galarica Wreath, we're actually going to be going back to the Isle of Armor. And yes, I said that right, the Isle of Armor. Now, we're going back to the Isle of Armor because to get the Galarica Wreath, we're going to need 15 of the Galarica Twig items, which you could find everywhere on the Isle of Armor. Simply, all you need to do is go to the Fields of Honor and check the sparkling spots on the ground, and you'll find plenty of them. That's not the only place on the Isle of Armor that you could find them, and you could also find them in the Crown Tundra as well, but this is where I find the most, and I find it the easiest. Once you check the spots, they do disappear for a little bit, and you'll have to wait for them to respawn. However, there's a little trick you could do to get them to instantly respawn. Basically, the Raid Den Day Skip glitch. Now, I'm sure by now so many people know about this trick, but just in case you need a refresher or you're new to Pokemon, I'll show you how to day skip really quickly. So right here, we can see by this tree, I already picked up the item. There's nothing flashing on the ground. So what we're going to do to reset that is throw a wishing piece into any raid den. I'm just going to choose this one because it's really close to the tree. We'll go ahead, save our progress. Yes. Oh, nice purple beam. That's kind of cool. The beam color doesn't matter at all. We really don't even care what's in there. But we're going to go ahead and interact with the den. And now we're going to select invite others. Now, once you see the searching screen, press the home button and actually go down into the system settings. From there, go all the way down to system, go to date and time, and just change the dates and increase it by one. Boom, boom. Now let's jump back into the Pokemon game, quit out of this raid den over here. Then from there, you just need to refresh the game, so you could either do that by going into Pokemon Camp or running into a wild Pokemon, since this Buneary is here, I'll just do that. And now, our sparkling item is back, and we got the Galarka Twig! Perfect! Perfect demo! By using that trick, you don't have to wait very long to get these items to respawn, and you can quickly collect 15 Galarka Twigs in no time. So once you have at least 15 Galarka Twigs, we're going to be going to the Roaring Sea Caves. But it's a little tricky because we're not going to be going through the main entrance over here. Instead, we're going to be going more from the seaside. So let me show you how to get there. I have a fly point over here at Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco's house. So this makes a really good starting point. Anyway, let's go on our bike and we're actually going to bike to the right down back here over to the frigid sea area. And I'm wondering, does anybody else find it really weird how in the Crown Tundra area, there's just fossil Pokemon walking around everywhere. They're supposed to be extinct, but I guess not over here. Anyway, we're going to keep on going straight into this little side path over here. We're going to dodge all the Pokemon that are masquerading over as little icy blocks. Don't run into those, it'll just slow you down. And we're going to come into the Roaring Sea Caves once again. Hey Riolu, how you doing? Now over there in the corner, there's this wonderful lady who you can trade your Galarka Twigs for, and she'll actually give you the item we're looking for. Also, a little side note, in this room, for whatever reason, you could also find Galarka Twigs on the ground. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk to her, and then she basically just explains, give her 15 twigs, she'll give you a wreath. And now she's gonna go ahead and make one for me, perfect! There we go, we got ourselves a Galarica wreath. I'm actually gonna have her make two of them, because I want to evolve both my regular Galarian Slowpoke and my shiny one. Alright, so now that we have the Galarica wreath, we can go ahead and evolve the Galarian Slowpoke. So I actually have two different ones here, the regular one and the shiny one. I've never seen shiny Galarian Slowking before, so this should definitely be a first. So let's go ahead and evolve these Galarian Slowpoke. First things first, the regular one. Ah, this is so satisfying. We got this Pokemon super early on in the year, and back when we first got it, we couldn't evolve it into either of the forms, but now the wait is finally over. Congratulations, your Slowpoke evolved into a Galarian Slowking. And here we go! It's learning the new signature move, Eerie Spell. First time I'm seeing that in-game as well. 80 base power special attacking move, and it removes 3 power points from the target's last move. Say goodbye to your PP. And now let's go ahead and evolve the shiny one. Let's see what this looks like. I'm excited. What? Your golden slowpoke is evolving? That's right. What's it gonna look like? Please look cool. Please look cool. 
barely notice any differences. So it looks like really the only main differences we have are around the upper body neck area where it's a little bit more blue and the gem changes color. On the shiny one, it's more of this pinkish color. On the regular one, it's an emerald green. Definitely one of the more underwhelming shinies. But there we have it. That, my friends, is how you can get Galarian Slowking in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. If this video helped you out, make sure you give it a big thumbs up right now, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more of my Pokemon content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.